In this video, I'll show you how to make this glass morphism effect that you see on the screen in After Effects. Alright, so first off, we'll go to Rectangle tool, click and hold, select Rounded Rectangle, and then change the fill color to white. Make sure that you don't have any type of stroke and that you have a fill. Click and drag, draw a rectangle like that. Ctrl Alt Home and then Ctrl Home to center this whole thing to the screen. We can press Enter, rename this to glass so that we know that it's our effect. Now we need to click on this. We need to make this adjustment layer. And then go to effects and presets, type in fast box blue. Double click to add to the glass layer. Change the blue radius to 20. And change the iterations to about 10. We'll go to the settings rectangle one rectangle path one and change the roundness to 50. We can select the layer, go to rounded rectangle tool, click and hold, select ellipse tool, and then click on this icon, and then just draw a mask like that into the middle. Control Alt Home, Control Home to center this to the screen as well. And then we'll click on invert, we'll invert the mask, and then press M twice so that we get this extra settings. We'll increase the feather to about 300 and then reduce the expansion a little about 30. Now we can get away with it at most cases but we'll give it more depth so we'll duplicate this one control D to duplicate and then uncheck this one so that we have this white effect and then press T for opacity transparency and then reduce the opacity to about 10 and if we turn this on and off we have this white effect we'll duplicate this again ctrl d to duplicate and then we'll remove this so select and then just press delete we'll press t and then increase the opacity to about 15 for this one i'll click on this remove the fill and i'll click on this we give it a stroke change this to 10, change the color to white, so that we have a stroke to this as well. I fast forward the video so that we add the necessary changes and then we should be good to go. After we are done with everything, we can right click, go to new, create a null object, leave it on the top and then we'll select everything else. We'll parent this to null, so if we move this null object, everything goes along with it. 